So we're going to look at one more example, and this is the curve uh, that we're looking at for f of x. And we'll notice that this one has a vertical asymptote. Okay? So how are we going to deal with that? So let's jump straight in and start thinking about what the uh, gradient function will look like. Okay, so we notice that this curve has a stationary point at minus 1. So that is going to be where this curve will be crossing through the x-axis. Now, it also has this asymptote. Now, because at that point the curve doesn't really exist, uh, the gradient function is trying to find, well, what's the gradient of the curve at that point? Well, seeing as that curve doesn't really exist at that point, nor does the gradient function. So, in actual fact, if you've got a vertical asymptote, then uh, for the original function, then the gradient function will have a vertical asymptote on the same line. Okay, that's just how it would have to be. So, what situation do we have here? So let's see if we can now draw it. So to the left of that stationary point, we've got a positive gradient, okay, uh, that's slowing down by the time it gets to minus 1. So we've got a positive gradient, and it slows down when we get through to minus 1. Now, what happens next? Well, in actual fact, it still has positive gradient, uh, to the right, because this is a stationary point of inflection. And so it is tending up towards the asymptote there. It's got a positive gradient, and so it would be doing the same here. So it keeps in the positive area of the graph, and will tend towards that asymptote. Um, now, as for this curve here, okay, well, here it's got continual, continuous positive gradient, okay? And so, what we can see is that it is just slowing down, okay? And we don't necessarily know uh, what happens to the rest of that curve, um, but it's starting off very steep, because it's right down next to that asymptote, so it's going to start off very steep and in positive, so it's going to be up here, and then it's going to be slowing down, okay? Now, we don't know if this is going to then start increasing again. Okay, I don't know what the rest of this curve looks like or if it starts to decrease, but I would assume that as it's drawn, that I've drawn it that way, that uh, it'll continue to kind of like tail off. Now, I haven't drawn on an asymptote, okay, a horizontal asymptote, so we don't know that that's necessarily going towards zero, okay? Um, and that's really as much as we could really draw with the information that we have. Could be logarithmic, okay, where it just increase, continues to increase, but ever more slowly, okay? We just don't know. So, let's have a look at the second derivative, the gradient function of the gradient function. Well, if this uh, one carried through the asymptote, then this one carries through the asymptote as well. Okay. Now, this curve here has no stationary point, so it doesn't actually cross through. Oh, sorry, apart from, well, sorry, it does have a stationary point there, okay. Um, and so, because it's stationary there, uh, the second derivative will be zero, so we are going to be crossing through the x-axis at that point, apologies. Don't know what I was what graph I was looking at. Okay, so then uh, let's have a look at to the left of that point. So we've got a negative gradient, okay, coming down. So we're in the negative region coming towards that uh, that point on the x-axis. Okay. Then uh, we're going to do positive. Uh, gradient, okay, um, and tending towards that asymptote. So, probably looks something like that, okay. So, that's what our curve would look like. Now, 
it's not a stationary point in itself, okay, here, for this curve. Um, if this was a quadratic curve, then this would be a straight line. But because of this asymptote, I've got to think a little bit more carefully. It's still got to tend towards that asymptote. So it makes sense that it's not quite a straight line, that it is tending towards that. It's coming down in that kind of shape. Now, as for this curve here, we've got continuous negative gradient, okay, which seems to be getting closer and closer and closer to zero. So now it would look something like that. Okay, and beyond that point, we really don't know enough about the curve to really go any further. Okay, so that's how we deal with the vertical asymptote and thinking about what these curves must look like. And obviously, if we had the equations, we'd be able to do a little bit more analysis, but just based solely on what the curve looks like, we can get pretty good sketches of what um, the curve's gradient function and the gradient function, the gradient function, what the second derivative, what that will look like.